Hello everyone and welcome to War Thunder. So as you know, it's seventh year of the War Thunder. So there's gonna be 50% of discount for all nations for all vehicles. Discounts happen two times in a year, so it's a rare event. So today I'm gonna show you top five best premium vehicles that you can buy with Golden Eagle. The vehicles from Marketplace will not be in this video. This video will going to be about only Golden Eagle premiums. Surprisingly enough, this is my personal opinion. So don't get too salty if your favorite premium tank is not here in this video. Let's do this. So number 5, P34 747R. Uh, it has 4.0 of battle rating. And if we're gonna look at the equal tank that is located in Soviet 3, will be the T-34 STZ. Exactly the same model, same BR, 4.0. But what's special about this one? Well, first of all, it's premium. And we already know how effective Russian medium tanks are between 3.7 and 4.3 of BR rating. The turret is slightly armored. So there is a chance that enemy cannot penetrate the turret cheeks. It has 53 millimeters of thickness uh, effective thickness as you can see increases up to 92 uh, around the turret it's 53 millimeters as well as a bonus protection to the side we have tracks thickness of 20 millimeters increasing the survivability of this tank if we're gonna look at the german 4.0 medium tank panzer 4g we're going to see that t34 is superior in every way except penetration the frontal hull armor and third armor is just hilariously bad only 50 millimeters of thickness but the cannon penetration is better as you can see it has 137 meters of penetration and let's look at the explosive mass the higher the mass is the higher the chance you're one shotting the tank explosive mass is 17 gram now let's check out the p34 94 penetration look at the explosive mass 64 it has five times more explosive mass inside the shell which helps you to one shot tanks easier in this last month it's been played 9000 times it has a really high win rate of 71 percent really good just slightly better version of t34 stz much aggressive alternative for the Panzer IV users. And fourth spot belongs to T11 IV. First premium tank that I bought actually. It's similar to M50 Ontos. It has same cannon. But instead of six we have one barrel. And it's actually a magazine cannon. In one magazine there is three shells. It is fast. It has no armor. It has a heat shell that can penetrate. 381 millimeters of armor at any distance now you have to play really careful with this guy because he has no armor obviously uh, the site is quite broken though it's it has a kv2 site so you have to get used to it but with practicing your survivability and effectiveness will increase suddenly it is quite equal to the ru 251 which is the German 6.7 premium. So I'm quite recommending this tank. If you're lucky enough, you can kill three tanks in nine seconds. That's how dangerous this tank is. It has win rate of 60%. Uh, not many players are playing with it. Instead of Ontos, I'm using this one. In Ontos, you have to switch sides because it has six barrel, like three at each side. It's really hard to aim with it. But this guy has much easier gameplay. At the third place, we have KV-1B 756R. And oh boy, is this tank deadly. Probably the most feared tank of allies that is playing at this BR 4.7. Now this tank could have been in number one spot of this list. Because of the low BR, I had to put it in a third spot. The upgraded armor and upgraded cannon, that's what KB-1B is. It's really hard to kill it. It is sometimes even not possible to penetrate it at the back. What makes this tank special? 
The armoring of the turret is actually better than the hull. You can take lots of shots with it. It's a survivor. As you can see, turret chicks, 105 millimeters effective thickness can go up to 180, 120. We have 85 millimeters thickness in front with additional 25, which makes 100 millimeters a total. Of course, the angle increases the effectiveness of armor as well. Basically, it's a beast of a tank, really hard to kill. Win rate 60%, battles 2000. Most of the people will clash up between Churchill and KV-1B. What's wrong with Churchill? It has solid shells without explosives. Uh, yes, it has some armoring, it can survive just as KV-1B at its own BR, but the cannon is absolutely horrible. I would definitely prefer KV-1B. Uh, look at this. Quite similar to the Panzer F2 cannon. We have 140mm of penetration. Explosive mass is 17 gram. But yeah. If things go bad, you can take the composite shell. 165mm of penetration. Bam. And now we're jumping to the high tiers. And at the second place, I'm gonna surprise you a little bit. It's not a tank. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, by the way, I only play realistic battles. This list is not recommended for arcade players. Because, yeah. Anyway. At the second spot, we have A2D1. 6.7 plane. But what makes this special? Why is it in this list? The loadout, guys. The loadout that scares enemy. We have a bunch of options, but the most deadliest one will be this one. Two two thousand and eight five thousand pound bombs. That means if you're lucky enough, you can kill four ground vehicles, four heavy or medium ground vehicles with the one takeoff. I'm talking about Grand Realistic Battle. Uh, we have the rocket version of it as well. Definitely depends on player. Whatever you want, you can take it. This plane is really funny to play with. It really goes with the 6.7 tank loadout. A good climber as well. 34 and half meters per second. It looks great. A double propeller. Amazing speed. And if we're gonna look at the statistic of this vehicle, in last month, it's been played, let's say, uh, 5,000 times, win rate 65%. Really high. We can actually see that ground frags per battle is much higher than air frags per battle. This actually proves that most of the players are using this plane in ground Realistic battle. Really deadly plane. It's just a nightmare of the ground enemy team. Uh, not the best fighter though. The thing you want to do first is obviously drop those 2000 pound bombs. They're reducing your speed and climb rate insanely. So get rid of them. Then you're ready for hunting planes. And the first spot goes to... Rue 251. Probably one of the most popular premium tank in this game. Now it is not OP. I'm telling you from the beginning, it's a really skill based tank. At 6.7 BR, this is the fastest German tank. We're looking at the 6.7, we have uh, Jack Panzer 45. By the way, 251 and this tank has uh, same cannon, same shell. We have Tiger 2H, Panther F, Kugelblitz, Yak Tiger. If you're playing 6.7, this is your lineup. You need a speedster to this lineup and that will be Ru 251. That's what makes this tank special. It just helps you to cap objectives first. It helps you to flank because no one is expecting Germans to flank at this BR. As the most effective shell, we have Heat FS, which not always one shots the enemy tank. It might go up to five shots to kill one medium or heavy tank. Uh, the spaced armor tracks, they're just consuming this shell and making it disappear. But at least it got a high penetration, which can penetrate almost everything at 6.7 BR, even at 7.7. .7. If you're getting up tiered. 
Here is the pros and cons about this tank. It's fast. It's maneuverable. It has improved optics, smoke grenade, a mech shell, two machine guns which can blind enemy scope, fast turret rotation. And now the cons. Slow reloading time. 9.8. Slow as Japanese medium tank. No armor. And that hit FS shell sometimes becoming trollish. Not sure if it's about uh, realism or the broken game mechanics. This shell becomes a ghost shell most of the time at the random moments and it's kind of annoying. And that's it. Uh, it is horrible. Win rate is only 53%. The reason of it actually could be there is too many players. Noobs, pros, all of them buying it. Most of the players are just dying in the first minute of match probably. They're not playing careful enough with this tank. In the hands of the good player, this tank can be really deadly. It has same play style as Hellcat. Use your amazing speed to take the best spots on the map. So yeah guys, that was my top 5 list. I hope this video helped you to decide which vehicle you're going to buy. But that's it for today. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out.